All right, let's take a look at what our final product is going to be here. So I've got my map loaded up. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to reload it. I've got my character starting at the other end of the hallway, so you can kind of see the formation happen. And then I'm going to run back and hit my trigger to start the whole chain of events for this little scripted hallway battle. So let's go ahead and reload the map. All right, so first thing you see here is these guys going into their rally points, right? Now, one thing I want to note, uh, note to you guys is see how this guy here is facing down the hallway and all of his friends are facing the other way? That's because the rally points have an orientation, a little marker that shows which direction they're going to face. When, uh, when I'm done here, I'll show you how to adjust that. So just so you can adjust it if the player is able to see them rally, because th this would look kind of peculiar. Like you've got like Ted here looking this way and everybody else is looking that way. So, um, all right. So this happens out of sight of the player, at least the way my map is configured. So these, this is the patrol of Combine who are coming down the hallway. Now I'm going to run way down the hallway. So you'll have to excuse the, the time this is going to take here, but I don't have my ATV suit, so I'm not sprinting. I can crouch. And I don't think I can... Bunny, that yeah, helps a little bit. All right, so somewhere in this area, I think the, the trigger's right about here. So I'm going to turn around and face the other direction. So there's my long, curved corridor. Now, if you notice, there's nobody around here. Um, the, my objective is actually the player's going to come from this way. So the player's not going to see that there's, you know, that there's nobody in these rooms. The player's going to come from down here. And they're going to hit a trigger, which is right in this area here, which is going to have the explosion. And then you'll see what happens after that. So let me get the explosion. There's the IED that goes off. Now we'll watch down the hallway. And the combine guys, they're kind of out of shape. They don't run that fast. So here they come. Now you'll, you'll see them start to get to their assault goals. And here come the rebels. So the rebels start popping out of the doorways. And we've got crossfire going through the hallway. Pretty good ambush. Um, that guy just got uh, injured. He just threw a grenade in there. So I don't think that guy's going to survive. The rebels actually... <laughs> that guy just exploded out the doorway. Um, the rebels' weapons do more damage than the combine, just uh, for whatever reason. The combine are kind of like st the stormtroopers of the Half-Life world. They're pretty weak. Um, but anyway, so there's, there's our ambush. Now, you could have your spawner... Um, spawn more guys if you wanted to, but it's up to you. But um, let's take a look at a few settings today and kind of what's going on so that we can get this whole thing set up and finished today. So let's switch over. All right. So first off, let's go look at the rally points. All right. So the rally points, if you click on them, or double click them, I guess, what you're going to see is this little... Uh, black compassy thing here and if you notice this little yellow line matches this thing right here so if I take this and rotate it and click apply this is the direction this guy is going to stand on the rally point so if you want to take the time to reset all your rally points so they're all facing the right direction um, that's how you do it you use the little compass to rotate it all right let's fly back to the trigger and let's look at a few things that are happening on my trigger. So this is the, like I said, the player's going to come from down here. He hits this, which causes this explosion to happen, which is like our little IED or whatever. Um, the combine guys are way over here. They're going to rally, and then they follow all the way around to my assault goals here. Okay. Now, here is my trigger. Now, my trigger on my outputs, here's what I have happening. Um, I've got the shake and the explosion, and then I've got the assault goal, begin assault. So this is what actually causes the combine guys to do their uh, run to the assault goal. So we've done this before, so nothing really crazy. Um, we already did the explosion, so really what I did here is we did the explosion a few days ago. So all I added was this assault goal, begin assault, which makes them run. And then I also added this. 
So this is the, the NPC template maker, the little stork spawner thing um, that spawns the citizens. So I just enabled it on a 13 second delay. Now, why did I do 13 seconds? Well, I kind of timed how long it took for those guys to make it down the hallway. So yours might vary a little bit. But what this does is I have an explosion, then I begin the assault. So when I begin the assault, the combine guys start rushing towards those assault points. They're, they start running down the hallway, heading towards the assault points, which we've got, you know, over here. All right, so they're way down the hallway. But when I trigger the bomb, they're going to run down the hallway and they're going to go to their little assault points. After 13 seconds, I'm going to enable this thing. In, where is it? It's in here. Okay, so this is my NPC template maker that creates citizens. So what I did with that is I said start disabled yes. So this is shut off. So when my player hits this trigger, it enables it after a 13 second delay. So my trigger now does four things. I hit the trigger, it shakes everything, it fires the explosion, it starts the assault, so those guys come running around the hall and they go to these points. And then after a delay, I turn on my NPC template maker, which starts spawning all of my dudes. Um, oh, it spawns a lot of them, so that's probably why they're winning the battle, because it spawns 15 of them. Um, and, and those guys start coming out and doing their attack thing. The other thing that I had to do was on my NPC here, this citizen, where it says type, I switched it to the rebel type. So that way they're the kind of the you know freedom fighter rebel dudes instead of this prisoner looking guy. I also had to give them a weapon from the drop down here. Um, notice that these beer bottles I believe they glitch. There's something weird about the beer bottles. So um, I wouldn't use them. They, they're not going to do much good against the Combine soldiers. So anyway, so I set that up. So it's going to spawn rebels. And that's it. That's, that's our kind of scripted battle sequence here. Our, our hero player is going to walk through here, hit this trigger. They're going to shake. They get an explosion. The Combine are going to come down the hallway. After a delay, once the Combine get into these positions, all the Rebels will start coming out of the doors. There's our scripted battle sequence. Um, I'd like a video of that, or if you can't, some screenshots that kind of show the progression of the whole thing. And that is the assignment for today. Um, on all the maps that I've been sent so far that people are having trouble with, um, mo all but one has been a spelling error. So when you're looking through your map, you gotta go through, it is also case sensitive. I had a guy accidentally put in a capital I in soldier and, and that was a hard one to find. And once he found it um, on his own, which was cool, but it took him the entirety of the period to find it. So, um, so pay super close attention to the spelling. Um, it, you miss one letter and the entire thing doesn't work. And that has been the majority of the errors I have seen so far, is just simple spelling errors. All right? So finish this up. Get me a nice scripted sequence. Make it beautiful. Um, I'm going to upload my map if you want to look at it, um, modify it, play with it, whatever you want to do. It's, it's incomplete, so if you want to steal it and finish it, you could even do that. So I will upload the map into the chat. And if you want to download my map and, um, and finish decorating it and all that stuff, uh, you're free to do that.